Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a slick one for you today. 1970 Chevelle, white stripes, black car, bucket seats, 454 under the hood, cal induction hood. You're gonna love checking this one out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it up on the lift and show you just how nice the bottom side is. Then we're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that 454. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna get inside the trunk. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Chevelle investment. So come on up and let's fire this 454 up. Check this baby out. Chrome on the front bumper looks brand new. The grill looks brand new. Those stripes are buried in the clear. I can't even feel them. It's got the hood pins, keep that hood from flying up. The cowl induction hood, everybody remembers those, man. I was scared to death every time I had one of these pull up alongside me. I guess, oh, I'm gonna get whipped by another Chevelle. Look at those wheels and tires. Trim rings are beautiful. Of course, we got the 454 badging on the side with the SS emblem. Look how that door fits. And look at that margin, nice and straight. Of course, this black paint is popping. Look at that door jam. Look how nice and clean that is. The rubber's been replaced. The door panel looks great. Carpeting's in beautiful shape. It's got the rose color wood um, steering wheel. I love those steering wheels also. The dash itself some beautiful shape. The center console looks good. It's got the staple shifter. Upholstery on the seats looks great. Package tray back there is nice and clean. Headliner's in good shape. The dome light even works. And take a look at those sun visors. They're in nice shape. The dash pad itself looks great. Just an amazing car. And look at the gauges. Look how nice and clear and how nice and bright the dash is. Just a gorgeous example of a car, very well cared for since 1970. And look at this black paint, it is slick as can be. The chrome on that back bumper looks beautiful. And again, these stripes, those are buried so deep in the clear, I can't even feel them. We'll get in the trunk here, see what she looks like. Look at that trunk, all coated and looking beautiful. That trunk floor's in great shape. The wheel wells look nice and tight. Back sides of the quarters are nice and neat. Rubber's been replaced around the gutters here and the uh, deck lid area. Bottom side of the deck lid's been painted. The lips on the deck lid look good. When you look down the side of the car, this is a black car, guys. Black does not lie. Black will tell you how good of a body man you are, and the gentleman that did this is a good body man. Look at that door line up. Look at that margin. See how nice and smooth that opened up? Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own all of our cars here. We spend the time to check them out before we buy them. When we buy them and get them back here, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions. So call Tom at 248-974-9513 and he can tell you all about this 454 Chevelle. Now let's go outside and drive this baby. Let's take a 70 Chevelle for a ride. Black car, big block, man, this thing is sweet. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are shipping experts. We can ship this car anywhere in the world. So you just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tommy will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive. And if you need help with financing, no problem whatsoever. Tom's got two bankers we work with on the financing. About a 15 minute phone call, and this dream is in your drive.
Listen to that exhaust, man. She sounds fantastic and driving smooth as can be. You can see down here on the dash, the uh, tack is working, the speedo is working, uh, the clock is not working. I just got the AM radio, but who needs radio when you got that music coming out of those tailpipes? We got the fuel gauge working, temperature gauge, amp gauge over here, even the horns working, guys. This car is all set up and ready to go. She's a beautiful 70 Chevelle. There is not a hotter car out there right now. The, uh, the Mustangs, the Chargers, and the Chevelles, number one, man. One from each company, and these are top of the heap. And this car is black with the skunk stripes. They don't get any better than this, guys. Just driving with no hands, going straight down the wheel, uh, road, not down the wheel. <laughs> no problem whatsoever here. She's a beautiful car. And watch this, we're gonna do a Yui right here. Look at the turning radius on this baby. And listen to that exhaust. What a smooth operator it is here. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this thing anywhere in the world. Just call Tom at 248-974-9513. And we do love to have visitors. So please come on out, check out the cars. We'd love to have you at the shop. We're at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. It's only 20 minutes from the airport if you need to fly in. And don't forget, we're here on Saturdays too. We're here till three o'clock on Saturdays. So if you want to drive in, fly in, get around the corner here. Just a beautiful driving car. We're buying about 40 cars a month also, so we've always got something new coming in. Make sure you check us out on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Go to our website often. You never know what we'll be bringing in next. Always got something cool coming in. We're selling about 40 a month, so these Chevelles are really going quick. So if you're interested in this car, call Tom today. He'd love to hook you up with this baby. Now listen to that exhaust. It is just purring, guys. What an awesome sound coming out of this baby. Now you gotta stick with us because we're gonna do something the other guys don't do. We're gonna put this car up in the air so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that big block. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on this awesome investment. Our shop's coming up here on the right. I just can't get over how nice this car sounds. Just got a nice rumble to it. Paint work is beautiful. We've got a beautiful Mustang sitting out front there. That Mustang convertible's getting ready to be parked in its brand new drive. We've got our covered uh, carrier coming to pick it up today. So stick with us. We're going to get this one in the air. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1970 Chevelle. Unfortunately, Greg couldn't finish this video. He is out of town uh, working on some pretty cool stuff for the shop. So, uh, starting from the back forward as we normally do, you can see we do have a brand new tank on this thing. It's not been painted. This is actually the coating that uh, they put on these tanks. It's actually more durable than paint. Um, looks like the straps are in good shape. Most of the original type wiring is all there. Moving forward to that, you can see we do have new springs in the back, brand new shocks in the back. These are the uh, OEM Spectrum shocks. It's kind of like the higher, uh, the higher dollar ones that you can get from the auto parts store. GM 12 bolt rear end. Uh, the rear end uh, looks like the last number on this date code, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is a 9, which implies that it's probably you know, correct for a 1970 car if it was cast late in 1969. The ratio that sits inside of it is a 331, uh, if I'm not mistaken, with an open differential. And uh, see here, outside of that, moving a little bit forward, you do have brand new exhaust on this car too, if you can't see. Um, we always check our uh, U joints, uh, both, or I should say, the uh, drive shaft, you know, both front and rear for those joints. Everything looks like it's good. We grease everything too as well. Uh, looks like a nice little, basically Flowmaster looking mufflers, although they're not a Flowmaster brand. Something else I'd like to point out under here is they did have the, uh, the boxed in um, control arms here, at least on the lower side here. That's also a, a big uh, strength upgrade. 
Uh, drum brakes in the back, we always take our drum brakes apart and we always make sure that everything is in good working order with them, you know, wheel cylinders, you know, misalignments or, you know, mis uh, misassemblies, it all happens and we always make sure that stuff is fixed for you guys so when you get the car you don't have to worry about that. You would not be surprised some of the stuff, uh, you would be surprised some of the stuff we find with drum brakes. Uh, do we have a sway bar in the back too? Moving forward to that, the floor pans look like they're in pretty good shape, you know, no real nasty rot or anything like that that I'm seeing on it, you know, not really so much as even pitting, it looks like a, there is like a very light dusting of like an undercoat material on it just to protect it more than likely from surface rust. Um, I don't suspect this car has really been driven in any of the, uh, the nasty weather, so um, just a real light coating just to protect it in storage and stuff like that. Moving forward of all of that, <clears throat> frame rails of course look like they're in good shape. Automatic transmission under here, it's a, a turbo 400. Um, I cannot find a VIN number on this transmission, nor can I find um, the tag for it. So it more than likely is pre-1967 because of the lack of a VIN number, and, uh, but I can't tell you for sure because there is no tag. But uh, as far as I know, this is not the original transmission for the car. Uh, moving forward to that, uh, underside of our Chevy big block here, and we're going to get to that in just a second. Um, see here, we have disc brakes on either side. These are power brakes, by the way. Uh, front end feels nice and tight. And of course, we always go through our front ends, and if the car needs an alignment, it gets that as well. Um, brand new matching shocks up front here, the OEM Spectrum shocks. So that's, uh, you've got all new shocks all the way around. Looks like the springs look like they're relatively new as well. Judging by all the boots that I'm seeing here in the front end, it looks like everything was redone uh, of recently. Maybe not just like within, you know, the next, or within uh, the last three years, but you know, at some point, of course, during the car's restoration, this was done. Um, sway bar in the front looks like it's in pretty good shape and of course we've got brand new bushings here along with the, the straps for it as well. Uh, power steering in this car here, we've got the box here. Um, outside of that everything looks like it's in pretty good shape. You know, you can see here this doesn't look uh, too skint up. A lot of the time this is the thing that's going to hit if you bottom it out. Looks like these are brand new on the car. Uh, this seems like they're newer than everything else under here. So more than likely these have been replaced. And of course, with that comes bushings and lower ball joint, and all that actually looks brand new on this, along with the knuckle as well, or the, uh, I guess yeah, you would call it the spindle. Um, outside of that, tire wear doesn't look too, uh, too god awful, and uh, I guess that all being said, let's take a look at wheels and tires. All right, for uh, rolling stock, we have 245-60R15. We do have a stock style rim SS uh, center cap on this thing, and uh, like I said, 245-60R15. BF Goodrich Radial TA, which is, uh, of course, a radial tire, if you couldn't tell. Um, and the cool thing is the back is the exact same size, so you can rotate these. Let's go check a look at those. All right, guys, back here we have, like I said, the same size, 245-60 R15, same tire, um, same looking wheel. Um, also, I'd like to point out back here, as far as tread wear goes, it's, uh, they've got a few miles on them, but they're, they, they don't need to be replaced yet. You can probably get quite a few good years out of these tires still. Um, outside of that, the trim looks like it's in pretty good shape. That's something I always like to point out. If it's really nice under here, you can see that none of that's really dented up or anything like that. It looks like the, the, uh, the rocker paint's in good shape. Under here is really good. Right here, you can always get a lot of the rock chips, which is telling me this is a relatively fresh paint job as well. Um, so, that all being said, let's go take a look at the big block 454 under the hood. All right, guys, uh, Chevy 454, you had heard me talk about it underneath. Um, this engine is not original to the car. It is a 1974 model year engine. However, in 1974, it was the uh, higher horsepower model for that, for that model year. This thing uh, originally produced right around 245 horsepower. Uh, I could tell that by the suffix code and the uh, casting date and the uh, casting uh, number. All that stuff lines up to tell me it's a 1974 engine. Um, the only performance upgraded that the, this thing has seen outside of um, you know, just basic stock stuff was going to be the Edelbrock carburetor that's sitting underneath this air cleaner here. It's a 750 CFM carburetor. Um, that carburetor is equipped with a manual choke on it. Um, outside of that, like I said, it's mostly stock and they've even gone to the trouble of even uh, buying all the correct hose clamps for this thing, which I also, I, I like stuff like that. It, uh, it's very tasteful. Outside of that, uh, all the rubber is in good shape. They even put the right uh, heater hoses on this thing. Um, both upper and lower radiator hoses look like they're in excellent shape and of course I see a GM sticker down there even on the, uh, the lower radiator hose too so they, they certainly had an attention to detail when they, uh, when they built it. All the, ho or the um, belts look like they're in good shape. Uh, we do have a clutch fan on this thing which is positive. Like I said we do have uh, power steering as well. They have actually all the emission stickers and the, um, the coolant stickers and so on and so forth on this uh, the radiator uh, thing that holds that in place. It actually has a fan shroud on it, thank God. Um, Core. Let's, let's see here. This thing has, uh, of course, power brakes on it, if I didn't mention underneath. Squirter bottle looks like it's in good shape. I can tell by the uh, shims in the front end it's had a recent alignment. 
looking at the bushings and all that stuff looks like they're in pretty darn good shape um, let me see here steering box is nice and dry something else I like to see they actually have the hood hinges painted correctly you know steel like uh, as opposed to just hose black and it looks to me as if I would assume that the cowl induction hood works as well too because it looks like the uh, vacuum hose and all the uh, components inside there actually look like it's all there which is a big uh, positive thing too and it's really cool to actually see that thing work when you get on it battery hold down is in place brand new AC Delco battery wiring doesn't look like it's been tampered with too much nice chrome valve covers I mean it's pretty honest uh, old Chevelle and uh, I'd, uh, I'd honestly I'd really like to take this thing out for a little cruise unfortunately Greg already Greg beat me to the punch on this one so that being said, if you guys would like to have this Chevelle parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this stream in your driveway.